Hi, I'm Randall and I've been experiencing problems with my own generator in this 2001 Bounder. And I'm going to do some troubleshooting today. I thought I'd record it and share it with those of you who are experiencing similar issues. What's happening is it only runs for about 30 seconds, then it sputters and outright quits. Let's see if we can get it started. Let's fire it up. I'm getting a strong smell of gasoline here and as you saw there was moisture dripping out of the exhaust. I put stabilizer in the gas tank last fall and I've run the engine off and on for the last three or four months and I've started up the generator. So uh, my thought was it would be keeping the fuel clean and it wouldn't gum up. But after reading some of the comments on the web it's not unusual for it to get gummed up just in a couple months time of lack of use. Okay, I suspect it's a fuel issue, so I'm going to see if there's any fuel in the carburetor float bowl. Typically you drain this when you have long-term maintenance anyway, so there should definitely be some fuel in here. I have to loosen the screw here, bottom of the bowl, get it going here first. If I go any further, the screw's gonna come out. Clearly, the bowl is empty of fuel. The problem is somewhere else, up line. Okay, let's check the air filter. Looks kinda burned. Smells really gassy here. Not very dirty, but this doesn't look right. At least not to me. I searched the internet on this issue and I found a couple of videos describing a problem with an overfull oil tank. The thought is that this dipstick is improperly gauged for this tank. I've already taken out 16 ounces of oil and it still reads halfway between add and full. The comment was you need to take this clear down to the bottom add line. Let me take some more out. My wife Diane came up with this ingenious method for extracting oil from the tank without having to drain it. That's all I can get in this bottle. Let's check the level. You have to screw it all the way in. Of course, the oil is cold right now but that's the best I can do. Hey, we're still up halfway. Check that one more time. Actually, it's more like three quarters of the way. There's a lot of room in there for extra oil. I'm gonna go ahead and start it and see if that helps. So I'm going to pump out some more oil here to see if I can get the level down closer to the bottom of the dipstick. Well, not making it. Still about a third. I'm going to start it up and see if anything happens differently. Quit right away. Flashing one, two, three. I'll check the codes on that, see what's going on. Press stop again to see the code. 
three blinks, seven blinks. Well, this was unexpected. Code number three, seven, three blinks followed by seven blinks, invalid genset configuration fault, wrong frequency RPM ratio. Corrective action, see an authorized Onan dealer. Uh-oh. I suspect it might be a fuel issue, so I'm gonna open up the drain in the carburetor float bowl. Nothing at all. How about I try the starter to see if the fuel pump's working? Hit the prime. Well, I hear a pump going, but no fuel is coming through. Okay, I'll try tapping on the side of the float and work a couple of the valves here. See if uh, any of these have any impact on opening up the flow of fuel. I want to overdo this. Try the prime. Let's open it up and see if there's any fuel. Prime again. No. I'm just going to hope the luck is on my side and this generator is going to start up. Well, I'm not a mechanic, and it's looking more and more like the carburetor might have to be replaced. But before I take it into the shop, I'm going to try one last effort, and that is to use some carburetor cleaner. Probably won't work, but at least it's worth a shot. First, I need to remove the air cleaner. Give it a shot. performance.